Which rapper has not been on Hot Ones? What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most obtuse show on the internet. My name is Riley and I'm joined by my bird brain co-host, Graydon. Today we're starting a new music trivia segment. This is Question, question for you. you. All right, here's how this one's gonna work. We're gonna be answering a series of multiple choice music trivia questions, each with four possible answers. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Graydon versus you. Dream 17 from Friendswood, Texas. They'll name kids anything these days. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hivemindtv.com for our merch. Also check out our Patreon. It's linked in description. It's only $5 a month. It's the best way you can support us and you get extra content. All right, Grant, first question. Which one of these songs did not Go platinum. Okay. Now platinum is a million units sold, which is an arbitrary number in my mind. I'm OD in Paris, I'm OD in France. I thought that I told you I need the advance. All right, we got Family Ties, Baby Keem featuring Kendrick Lamar. He is not Baby Keem. I am not Baby Keem. <laughs> Dollars on my head, Gunna featuring Young Thug. Okay. Tell me you love me, you gon' stay. Tell me you love me. Tell me you love me, Trippy Red featuring Juice World. Yep. You don't understand me, what the fuck do you mean? It's the most in the cheeks, yes, yeah, them dirt color eyes. And see you again, Tyler the Creator featuring Caliucci's. Okay, so three of these are bangers and the other's an absolute flop. <laughs> when did Bud Light go platinum? Ooh! Um, those think, things are hitting. Yeah, I think that was around 2011. <laughs> I got a strategic guess here. No strategy in mine, just for the record, for everyone watching. There's zero strategy in my answer. Three, two, one. I put family ties. I put dollars in my head. It is family ties by Baby Keem featuring Kendrick. It's too new. It's too new. Yeah. That exactly. It's not platinum yet. Yes, it will be. It will be. Yeah. That song is gold. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. So it's well on its way. Why is platinum double the worth of gold? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do love when somebody really flops and what they come up with all the ways to name them. Like DJ Academics will be like, it's certified cardboard. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's certified driftwood. <laughs> you dropped a paper record last month. <laughs> DJ Grant, what is question number two? Which one of these songs does not include a Nintendo sample? Okay. Okay. Gamers, stand up. Go! Or we got <laughs> Run Runnin' by Lil Yachty off Lil Boat One. I can't just, I can't imagine him in the studio being like, yep, that's the beat right there. <laughs> do -de -do -de -do. <laughs> Thank God that I'm straight, no wonder my mom pray. Lost when my cousins curse from them devils. Break the bank, schoolboy Q. Okay. I love you, I hate you off Whole Lot of Red, Playboy Cardi. Sorry, I'm still kind of vibing to that one. <laughs> And Hotline Bling by Drum. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is Cha Cha by Drum. FKA Drum. Mm -mm. Shelly. Nintendo is broad. A lot of different things are Nintendo. We got Yoshi, Mario, Waluigi. Pretty sure SpongeBob is Nintendo. Pretty sure SpongeBob is Nintendo. Um, uh, the first three Born movies are Nintendo. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. What do you know about Nintendo? <laughs> three, two, one. I put I love you, I hate you. I put Cha Cha. It is I love you, I hate you. <laughs> yep, uh. yep, yep, yep. It's the one that sounds like it has a Nintendo sample. That is a strange strategic guess. I guess Cha Cha because I know they ripped the original sample from the original track and then they re-released it and having that original download was like a bit of gold back in the day. Do you remember legitimately when Hotline Bling came out, people said it was a Cha Cha remix? Yeah. People said that Drake hopped on the drum song. Yep. They sound alike. Yeah. A lot alike. A lot alike. Yeah. All right. So what samples are used in which songs? Right. So Cha Cha is a Star Road theme Mario sample. Break okay. the Bank is Toad falling in the water from Mario Kart. I thought I heard the falling, I thought I heard like <laughs> Run Running is a file select screen for Nintendo 64, the old console. Okay, okay. and the coin sound. The yeah. Yeah, the coin there. yeah. yeah, there's a lot of Nintendo samples out there. I mean, we learned in one of our sample games that Drake sampled Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Yeah. Right. Question number three. Which rapper wasn't on a double XL freshman list? French Montana, Smoke Perp, Lil Baby and Machine Gun Kelly. I know who doesn't belong on the list here. I think there might be a few that don't, <laughs> yeah. that don't belong on a list. That's kind of true. Now, a number two pencil. I have a few questions about this. Okay. <laughs> one, when was the number one pencil? 
long time ago, <laughs> long before us. Okay, so if it was long ago, then when is number three pencil gonna happen? It feels like we've been on number two for a long time. That is true. <laughs> well, number two just works. You can't fix something that's not broken. I guess that's true. What did number one look like if they needed number two? <laughs> is a mechanical pencil a different number? Don't even talk about those. In, in academia, you don't wanna bring up mechanical pencils. Okay, yeah. Three, two, one, little baby. I put French Montana. It is little baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, MGK was 2012. Yes, he was 2012. <laughs> okay. It was 2012. Smoke Perp 2018. French Montana 2011? 11. Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, well, good for Machine Gun Kelly on the 2012 Double XL freshman list and on the 2020 Alt Press freshman list. <laughs> All right, question number four. Which song does not feature John Mayer? Oh, okay. My guy. John Mayer. <laughs> She's working at the pyramid tonight. Working at the pyramid. Pyramids, Frank Ocean, Channel mm -hmm. Orange. I know God breathed on this. I know God breathed on this. I know God breathed on this. God breathed by Kanye off of Donda. Okay. You was trying to know me when they didn't know me. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, Russ, what? Wife you up. Wife you up by Russ. <laughs> okay. Take me away. Daniel Caesar. Take me away. Take me away. Now it's weird because out of all four of those tracks, I did not hear any guitar solos. Oh man. If you think about it, we're really just biding time till the next president. You know what I mean? <laughs> Three, two, one. I put take me away. I put God breathed. It is take me away by Daniel Caesar. Yeah. Cause I knew that God breathed cause we had God breathed in one of our sample games. Yeah. And so I looked it up on who sampled just to make sure I got everything right. And right. I saw a John Mayer credit on there and was wow. like, what? And then I knew he's on pyramids and I know he's worked with Russ. I think he's worked with Daniel Caesar too. It was just a guess between those two. Right. I knew Grant wouldn't put a Russ track in here just on his own <laughs> right. fruition. You know right, what I mean? right, right. So totally. that I could rule that one out. But I didn't hear anything about God Breathe when this came out. Yeah, he does the those haunting vocals or John Mayer. So cool. for nothing? For nothing. Come on, Weave, get your head out your shoes. He making fun of my shoes, he a sneak disser. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Next one. Which rapper has never appeared as a musical guest on SNL? Ooh, okay. Saturday Night Live. This is right up your alley. Big SNL guy. Jack Harlow, Frank Ocean, Future, and Roddy Rich. It's Saturday night. Does it count if they played the saxophone on the side? Because I'm pretty sure one of them <laughs> at least played the saxophone on the side. <laughs> Doesn't count. So they had to be featured as musical guest. Okay. A lot of people have played that saxophone on the side. Yeah. That saxophone's been ran through. Wait, does it count if they just hung out with Pete Davidson one time? I think so. Why is it called a dust buster? Dust buster. It doesn't really bust the dust. No. It just kind of like sucks it up and then you dump it in the garbage. Yeah. You know I'd I mean? like something that obliterates the filth from my house. <laughs> <laughs> like a laser that I can just point at something dirty and it like singes it off. Yeah, we need a filth obliterator. Yeah. <laughs> Instead. Dyson's new filth obliterator. <laughs> Turn that old gunk into smithereens. <laughs> New from Procter & Gamble, the gutter grime vaporizer. Picturing like maids with like guns that come in your house. Yeah. Like, shoot the stance. It's scented too. Yeah. Like, like, wow, it smells great in here. Yeah, I had the laser maids come through earlier, clean the place up before the party. <laughs> Three, two, one. Roddy Rich. I put future. It is Roddy Rich. Cause he was supposed to be on this past weekend and then bleachers filled in for him because he had COVID. See, you are on the nose with SNL. I news. really do pay attention to yeah. SNL. I know, I know it sucks now or it sucked like a couple years ago or whatever, but I still watch every episode. And shout out to Claude who played Keys for Bleachers. Oh, so how was it, that? Yeah, it was really cool to see them. They are a tiny individual. Yeah. They look so short <laughs> compared to everybody. People were literally tweeting like, who's the kid in Bleachers? It was so <laughs> funny. All right, Grant, what's the next question? Which music video has the most views? Oh, okay. okay, so four music videos, which one has the most views? Okay. I ain't joking, do it sound like I'm kidding. I've been making like 2,000 a minute. So high up. Rap star, Polo G. Mm -hmm. I can't help but imagine that like, that private plane that you can go in and take pictures in, like that's the set. Oh, you know it has I mean? to be, <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is me coming at you as a man right now. Let me free. Let Me Freak by Lil Dicky. <laughs> God, that one really moved me when I first heard it, which was right now. <laughs> I don't wanna die too young, too young. Too young, Post Malone. Before all the beer weight. Okay. <laughs> 
Shawty don't love me, you know I'ma treat her bad Bad, bad, I'm real right, hold your six tight, get your click, knock with this cage Bad, bad by NBA Youngboy, the king of YouTube Yes Ooh, this is a tough one Yes, and I'm going strategic here because Lord knows I need a point Okay, so we've got a viral smash from Lil Dicky We've got Rap Star, one of the biggest songs of 2021 mm -hmm. We've got NBA Youngboy who does obnoxious views on YouTube <laughs> And then we've got Too Young with Post Malone. Which is an old song from now a mega star. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, this is a tough set. This is a tough set, too. Whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I'm sorry if it means something. If this becomes a set, we are doomed. Yes. <laughs> if this is somebody's gang sign, we are fucked. Yeah. Or this, honestly. Yeah. Three, two, one. I put Let Me Freak. I put Bad Bad, NBA Youngboy. It is Too Young by Post Malone. Ooh. Wow, I thought NBA Youngboy was the king of YouTube. So what are the views on all these? Post Malone has 156 million views. Rapstar has 148 million views. NBA Youngboy has 117 million views. And Lemmy Freak has 92 million views. Wow, so I guessed the lowest one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, interesting. All right, next question we've got. Which artist did not have a Pepsi sponsorship? Ugh. Daft Punk. Kanye, Michael Jackson, and Nicki Minaj. Whoa, what a weird list here. Were those two French freaks in that Kylie Jenner commercial? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the question here. Three, two, one. I put Daft Punk. I put Nicki Minaj. It is Daft Punk. Oh. Yeah, they would never do it. It's too corporate. And they did do a Gap commercial, though, which I thought was hilarious. Well, Gap is cool now. <laughs> I see people with Gap hoodies, and I'm like, oh, damn, that's sauce yeah. right there. Like, you got swag. Michael Jackson and Kanye West were actually in the same ad in 2005. Oh, they're in the same commercial. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Whoa. So when people say somebody's in a vegetative state, uh -huh. why do they say that? I don't know. Like, I understand that vegetables are alive but don't really do anything, but so are a lot of other things. Like, yeah. what, like what if we said, like, he's in fruit mode? You know? <laughs> <laughs> like he was in a terrible accident, and now he's in fruit mode. <laughs> Doc, how is he? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> He's in fruit mode. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like, I don't know, we were able to pull her from the car, but she's in kind of a tree situation. <laughs> you know, she's kind of tree-like. Yeah, I don't know why we landed on vegetative. When somebody's like brain is alive, but their body is dead, they're mm -hmm. just like, he's a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy to say that. <laughs> Next question, we've got, which rapper has never won a Grammy? We've got J. Cole, Young Thug, ASAP Rocky, and Kid Cudi. Oh, my phone just buzzed all weird. Huh. No notifications, but it definitely buzzed. Could be that syndrome or whatever. I don't believe in that. I think they're making that up. I think the government intercepts positive text. So when people think they have the phantom vibrate thing, it's really that the government was like, no, that's too nice. It's going to make his day. And they take it away. <laughs> Son, I know I've never said this to you, but I'm proud of you. Yeah, stuff like this. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. He's anxious. Let's keep him anxious. He buys more stuff when he's anxious. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Rocky. I put Young Thug. It is ASAP Rocky. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, you're mm -hmm. on flame. <laughs> You are on the opposite of fruit mode right now. Oh, I'm wide awake. So what did Kid Cudi win one for? That was the one I was unsure of. He's got like five, four or five Grammys. Oh, okay. So yeah. Cool. Um, ASAP Rocky has been nominated for two, most notably not getting Grammy for LSD for a music video of the year, which is yeah. pretty crazy to me. That video is amazing. It yeah. Is. And Young Thug got his Grammy through his contributions through This Is America with Childish Campaign. Oh, uh, I do vaguely remember it that Okay. Night. Yeah, and I knew he was nominated for The London with J. Was, Cole. Well, yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And J. Cole won his for a lot with 21 yes. Savage. It wasn't Wet Dreams? I know, right? <laughs> what the H? I know. It's crazy. It wasn't, I don't even think it was nominated for Record of the Year or Song of the Year. That's a fucking crime. All right, what is the next question? Which song is under two minutes in length? Okay, mm. under two minutes in length. So which song is the best sex jam? <laughs> <laughs> One shot, click, click, click. Reload, reload, reload. 20,000 THP. Western Union by Echo 2K, Blade, and Tie Boy Digital. Bitch talking shit, but she living in a kid room. Bitches wanna hate some up with a big room. I've been making big moves. Yeah. Bitch, I'm nasty. Rico nasty. Project stoves to find in my essence. They praising my presence. Doors up on the Tesla. Bash Money by West Side Gun featuring Lil Wayne. And and 
Passion by Pink Pantheris. Okay. Kind of the queen of short songs. Yeah, in the moment for sure. Mm -hmm. I think there's a trick up G-Money's sleeve here though. I feel like in the SoundCloud era, songs got so much shorter, or at least the expectation for a song. Yeah. It's like if Trippy Red or X dropped a song in 2017, it could be a minute and 50 and people wouldn't have a problem with that. Absolutely. And yeah. then you saw Old Town Road, a very short song go number one. Yeah. I believe that was under two minutes. Yeah, it's interesting the way attention spans, I'm sure have something to do with that. On like the flip side, I feel like we're coming back around where longer songs are more palatable now. Three, two, one. I put Bash Money. I put Bash Money. It is Bitch I'm Nasty by Rico Nasty. Dang. Oh. I thought the trick here was that with a little Wayne feature, how could it be under two minutes? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I am getting skunked. I don't like how this feels. <laughs> I feel stupid. How long are each of these songs? Uh, Western Union is two minutes. Bitch I'm Nasty is 131. Bash Money is 227 and Pink Panthers' Passion is 218. Oh, wow. 131. That is short as hell. <laughs> that yeah. is oh my really gosh. short. All right, here we go. Which rapper has not been on Hot Ones? The show with hot questions and even hotter wings. We've got Offset, JID, Juice World, and Schoolboy Q. If we ever get invited to go to Hot Ones, I want you to chew up the wing and spit it in my mouth. Oh, so I'm the chewer and you're the swallower. Yes. Ooh, that could be a good strategic move so that we don't overwhelm ourselves with the heat. Exactly. I I've always wanted to do hot ones because I have so many health problems. My IBS, can you imagine eating the, like, the four hottest wings on, oh my gosh. Vibeer's the on deck. And I'm allergic to so much stuff. I could be the first person to have an allergic reaction on hot ones. That would be so fun. That would be sick, actually. I'm sure they have doctors on hand, right? Niche YouTube celebrity <laughs> dies on hot ones. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put J-I-D. I put J-I-D. It is J-I-D. Yeah. I yeah, knew yeah, you'd yeah. come through for me, G-O-D. <laughs> Gave me the J-I-D. He should be on it. He should be on it soon. He's having a hell of a run right yeah. now. Yeah. He has more monthly listeners than J. Cole right now. Yes, he does. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Isn't I that wild? That is wild. That's a great show. It is a great show. I think Sean's going to be able to pivot into pretty much anything he wants in terms of being a host of something. He's a great host. Yeah. So good at memorizing things, delivery, all that stuff. Like he could host Dancing with the Stars in five years and I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, me either. All right, what's the next question? Which song was not produced by Pharrell? All right, which one of these songs was not produced by Pharrell Williams? Trap nigga with the chickens like pop pop. Money changing colors like top. Stir Fry by the Migos. I love the Popeyes ad lib in there. Popeyes. Popeyes. <laughs> Talk all you want, I'm taking no advice. Nigga, I'm about to relish in this anguish. Burgundy, Earl Sweatshirt. Sing. What is this? Sing by Ed Sheeran. Sing by Ed Sheeran. Featuring Muppet Ed Sheeran. <laughs> <laughs> he already looks like a Muppet. They really needed to do all that? Yeah. If you wanna go and take a ride with me, we dream with him. And Ride With Me by Nelly. Wow. Must be the money. There's like a 15 year spread between these songs. I know. <laughs> Every time it's Pharrell Williams' birthday, I'm shocked. Every single year for the last eight years, he'll like post a picture and be like, glad to be here for 72 years or whatever. I'm like, how? How are you that old? How is he that old and Chief Keef is that young? Yes. That's those, what I don't understand. Those two are just. That and Lil Pump just turns 18 every year. <laughs> <laughs> like every year they're like, oh, Lil Pump's finally 18. And I'm like, yeah. again? He can finally vote for Trump again. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put the Nelly song. I put Ride With Me. It is Ride With Me. Nah, I knew it was a trick. I can't, he produced Sing by Ed Sheeran though? He's in the music video too. Oh God. Pharrell is? Yeah, he's Do they, in the music video. Do they give him a Muppet? <laughs> no, they didn't. Which album does not have a Gunna feature? Uh, okay. So we've got Dummy Boy by 6 ix 9 Love Is Rage 2 by Lil Uzi Vert, Reckless by Nav, and Die Lit by Playboy Cardi. Oh man, now I'm just trying to think. I will say, Gunna does an absurd amount of features. Yes, he does. That's, that's <laughs> the problem I'm having here. I don't even think you're allowed to put out an album without a Gunna feature right now. <laughs> you know something I was thinking about the other day? I was thinking about the success of The Weeknd mm -hmm. and how his name is The Weeknd. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I know that it's spelled a little bit different, but like still, picking something that is so big and so broad and vague in a certain way yeah. that everybody knows the word in their head and then becoming so well-known Despite that, like yeah. a lot of people have done that. Like the internet 
right. how they were able to overcome being called the internet. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many different things that are like that nowadays that I'm like, you have proof of concept on both sides. Like pick something so unique that you're the only thing that comes up when it gets searched or pick something so broad that everybody knows it in their head and just gets to attach something new to it. I feel like it works best with a broad name when you like lean pop with your music. Okay, yeah. Like Drake. Yeah. Like that's not like a hard name. That's just like a white guy name. Yeah. Just Drake. It's like, yeah, biggest rapper in the world. It's Toby. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Toby. <laughs> hey, I'm going to see Toby and Kanye this weekend. They're, they squash their beef. <laughs> Brett's new album is pretty controversial. A lot of diss records on there. A lot of subs if you listen. I heard he admitted murder murdering someone on it. <laughs> if I can get a song with Brett, oh man, that shit for sure platinum. Three, two, one. Dummy boy. Dummy boy. It is love is rage. What? That is what I had written down and I erased it. Wait, Gunna is on dummy boy? What song? FIFA. FIFA? Like soccer. <laughs> First he's on Crime Stoppers. Now he's on a 6 or 9 album. <laughs> Things are adding up. <laughs> Freddie Gibbs might have a point. Yeah. You know, it's a shame that by the time they came up with those hats that have the two beers on the side with like the tube yeah. down that you can drink from, uh -huh. that the name Straw Hat was already taken. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like so just like, oh, I like going to the football game. I'm gonna get one of those straw hats. <laughs> now you got me thinking Shark Tank here. Uh -huh. What if we pioneered like a classic cowboy kind of straw hat that had like a drink thing in it and we called it the straw hat? Or we make it absolutely massive and call it the 10 gallon hat. <laughs> it has 10 gallons of beer in there, so you just get absolutely <laughs> plastered. Can you carry half a keg on your head? Well, boy, do I got a hat for you. Like, that guy's neck muscles are insane. You must be wearing those 10 gallon hats all the time. <laughs> I've always wanted one of those hats. Which hats? A slurpy, drinky beer hat. The drinky beer hats? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Think about it for my birthday. Okay. All right. Your birthday is a long way away. It's actually almost a whole year away. Just think about it. Keep I it will. Right I'll, try here. To keep, I'll try to remember. Keep it right there. What if you go sober by then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking, all right. All right, what's the next question? Which song did not get best new track on Pitchfork? Ah, okay. okay. Which song did not get best new track on Pitchfork? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. You got bank account, 21 Savage. Yes. I saw the fire in your eyes. Take My Breath by The Weeknd. Mm -hmm. This is America. Don't catch you slipping now. Hey! Don't catch you slipping now. Hey! This is America, Childish Gambino. What was that? I was just saluting Childish. Okay. Nobody, 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 nobody. And Nobody by Mitski. The TikTok song. Yes, a lot of you guys may know this as a TikTok sound. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking so much about stuff like this today, okay. but I feel like these are only called rolly chairs because wheelchair was taken. Yes, exactly. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> rolly chair sounds like a little kid came up with the name for it. It's like, it's a rolly chair. Like, it's, it's like, like, honey, can you pass me my itchy stitchy sweater? Yeah, like <laughs> they're either rolly chair or spinny chair. <laughs> or I guess office chair if you're boring as fuck. Office chair, yeah, but you could have maybe Maybe one of those like Swiss weird design chairs, some shit like that. An Eames chair. An Eames chair, yes, yeah. exactly. Three, two, one. Take my breath. Bank account. It is Take My Breath by the weekend. Oh yeah. Bank account, I kind of remember getting best new track, and so this was just my guess. Yeah, I mean, I remember bank account being a huge moment for 21, but I don't know Pitchfork enough to know if they would lean that direction. All right, last one. Which one of these rappers was not mentioned in Kendrick Lamar's Control verse? The song Control by Big Sean featuring Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick had a verse where he called out his rap contemporaries mm -hmm. and said he was trying to murder them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, he did. It was honestly sort of an honor yeah. to be on the verse. People were more mad that they got left off than then they got called out. Only Kendrick could do that. Yeah. Address everyone, say, you're not as good as me, I'm gonna kill you, and then people are like, hey, why don't you wanna kill me? <laughs> <laughs> kill me, Kendrick, come yeah. on. Come on, I'm worthy of death. I had some good 16s this year. I really think I deserve a death threat. <laughs> All right, so we've got Wale, Rick Ross, Mac Miller, and Big Sean. <laughs> 
Okay. When did this song come out? The song came out in 2013. Three, two, one. I put Rick Ross. I put Mac Miller. It is Rick Ross. Oh, yeah. Go figure. Rick Ross was too established at the time. I feel like these were like the young, hungry guys that he was calling out. Yeah. And I remember him saying, Mac Miller, like the way he says it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And I remember Wale being like sticking out to me as being like, you really have to call out Wale. <laughs> you have to call out Wale. Let him be. Let him be. I don't think he's competing at the same level. So his full list is he called out J. Cole, Big Crit, Wale, Pusha T, Meek Mill, ASAP Rocky, Drake, Big Sean, J. Electronica, Tyler the Creator, and Mac Miller. Wow. Yeah. No Earl. Yeah. No Earl. That is crazy. Because yeah. I remember in an AMA on Reddit, Kendrick was asked his favorite rapper, and he said Earl Sweatshirt. Mm. Wow. So it's just insane to me that he would not mention his favorite rapper. All right, 11 to 2 final score. The possibilities are endless with this segment. There was 14 different questions in this one, so drop some suggestions for questions you'd like to see in the next one down in the comments. Or DM DJ Grant. His stuff's down in the description along with our Patreon. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. And Graydon, please leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by. The future ain't what it used to be. All right, this has been Hive My TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Why does everybody point to their teeth with their pinky? Like, ting. I understand pointing to your teeth. You want to like point. Why is it the pinky though? Does anybody know? I feel like anything with the pinky resembles like high class. Fancy. And fancy. <laughs> oh, maybe it's the teacup turning motion. I guess it could be. And also, have you ever seen the awkward moment where they're not wearing a grill, they have no diamonds oh, in their yeah. teeth, and they just point to them? Yeah. It's like, shout out my dentist, I guess. Those are people with <laughs> veneers. <laughs> but I understand, posing for pictures is hard. Everybody's yes. got to pick something at the last minute. Sometimes you throw up, you're like, oh. Sometimes you do this. Sometimes you're like, <laughs> <laughs> ah!